Henry Marshall woke to the soothing hum of his wall screen, displaying a serene sunrise over a virtual meadow. Good morning, Henry, the automated voice greeted. Today is January 23rd, 2024. It's time to rise and shine, he groaned softly, stretching in the large modern bed that once belonged to his parents. The house, a quaint bungalow nestled in the suburbs, was now worth a small fortune, thanks to the booming real estate market. The juxtaposition of the old and new was a constant in his life, one he had grown used to. Henry's morning routine was a blend of the familiar and the futuristic. He showered under a smart showerhead that adjusted the temperature perfectly, dressed in casual attire, and headed to the kitchen. The coffee maker, branded as Galactic Brew, whirred to life at his voice command, filling the room with the rich aroma of freshly ground beans. His electric car awaited him in the driveway a sleek silver machine with a minimalist design. As he settled into the driver's seat, the car's AI activated. Good morning, Henry. Destination, Neonest. The car glided silently through the suburban streets, merging seamlessly with the city traffic. Henry marveled at the smoothness of the ride, a far cry from the bumpy commutes of yesteryear. Buildings, old and new, lined the streets, their facades reflecting the ever-evolving landscape of the city. Neo Nest, his workplace, was a startup known for its innovative yet quirky culture. The office building was a testament to modern architecture, with large glass windows and green terraces. Inside, it was a playground for adults, a blend of work and leisure designed to spark creativity. Henry stepped into the office, greeted by the sight of colleagues lounging in beanbags and chatting over cups of lunar latte from the in-house cafe. The smell of freshly baked pastries wafted through the air, mingling with the scent of high-tech gadgets and freshly printed reports. His workspace was open and vibrant, surrounded by plants and soft lighting. A large screen dominated his desk, displaying the latest data and project updates. He settled into his ergonomic chair and began his day, diving into the world of coding and digital design. Mid-morning, a notification popped up on his screen. Team meeting in the chill zone. Henry made his way to the chill zone, a spacious area filled with pool tables, hammocks, and a state-of-the-art wine dispenser. His colleagues were already there, some playing pool, others relaxing on the hammocks. Their team leader, a spirited woman named Lisa, started the meeting with a smile. All right, team, let's brainstorm. We've got a new project on the horizon, and we need all the creativity we can muster. The session was lively, filled with laughter and rapid-fire ideas. Henry enjoyed these moments, where the line between work and play blurred. They were building something new, something that could change the world, and the energy in the room was palpable. As the day progressed, Henry found himself immersed in his tasks. The office was a hive of activity, with people moving between workstations, meeting pods, and the relaxation lounge. The latter was a whimsical space, complete with sleeping pods and a snack bar offering an array of treats. Henry took a break in the relaxation lounge, lying down in one of the sleeping pods. The gentle hum of white noise and the soft glow of the pod's interior helped him unwind. He closed his eyes for a moment, letting the stress of the day melt away. Evening approached, and the office began to quiet down. Henry wrapped up his work and headed to the gym, a fully equipped facility with virtual trainers and cutting-edge exercise machines. He enjoyed his workout, feeling the tension leave his muscles. As he drove home, the cityscape was bathed in the warm hues of the setting sun. The car's AI played soft jazz, creating a calming atmosphere. Henry reflected on the day, appreciating the blend of innovation and nostalgia that defined his world. Back at his house, he settled into the living room, the walls adorned with dynamic art that changed with his mood. He sank into the couch, an old piece from his parents' time, and let out a contented sigh. Would you like some white noise, Henry? The home assistant asked. Yes, please, he replied. The room filled with the rain and thunderstorm sounds. Henry closed his eyes, feeling a deep connection to both his past and present. A tomorrow he could scarcely have dreamed of way back when he was just a bright-eyed lad in the distant 1990s. And yet, in so many ways, it was just another imperfect, messy, profoundly human world, continuing to spin through the void, perpetually striving for a better day.